Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to give you an update on the Stranger Than Fiction getting crazier by the day Buffalo mob linked racketeering trial um, that will be starting back up later this month. It's been five years of uh, absolute insanity. Peter Gerace Jr., Joe Bon Giovanni, retired DA agent, Gerace Jr., the nephew uh, and grandson of the last alleged last two leaders of the Buffalo Mafia, uh, the Tadaros, uh, indicted for drug trafficking, sex trafficking, money laundering, bribing a DEA agent, being Bon Giovanni. Uh, four people connected to the case have died, two witnesses possibly killed. And what we have now that's come out this week is a new narrative that pushes back on the previous narrative about why the judge's original, or sorry, why the case's original judge, John Sinatra, was recused from the case or recused himself from the case. Uh, he recused himself in June of 2023 um, at the behest of defense attorneys uh, putting in, according to the federal government, uh, defense attorneys and Gerace Jr. were trying to manipulate uh, a conflict of interest behind the scenes, adding people to witness lists that might have a connection to Sinatra using Ancestry.com searches from behind bars to figure out well, who they could maybe tie him to or... It, the government painted it as very nefarious. As of this week, it looks completely legitimate based on what was the filings this week. Uh, Judge Sinatra, this isn't impugning him, um, but there were questions, legitimate questions, about his family's connections to the Buffalo Mafia, the Magadino crime family, and not just the organization, but the highest levels of that organization. And uh, when we're talking about that, we're talking about the Tadaros, allegedly, uh, the, the, the mafia shot callers in Buffalo since the 1980s. Lead Pipe Joe Sr. Um, go, went all the way back to Old Man Magadino and was a capo for a long time, uh, uh, a guy that founded and along with his son, Joe Pizza, uh, built the Lenovo restaurant franchise into just a juggernaut uh, in that part of the country. And, you know, it's, uh, it's not, it's not really alleged. It's kind of proven in the, in the documents that were filed this week that Judge Sinatra's father, John Sr., uh, was a mob associate of some type uh, and was very close friends with lead pipe Joe Todaro, uh, who was the alleged mafia don of Western New York from 1984-ish to when he died in 2012. Um, it's a very long run for a, a, a godfather in, in this era. Uh, it should be noted that neither Todaro has a federal criminal conviction, so they they are adamantly denying, have always adamantly denied any role or membership in the mafia, but the FBI has always insisted that the Tadaros back then and today run the Buffalo Mafia. And Sinatra Sr. was like golfing buddies, vacation buddies, gambling buddies with Lead Pipe Joe. Um, the FBI had surveillance on them. There's a uh, surveillance from Lead Pipe Joe's funeral and wake back in 2012 of uh, the entire Sinatra family attending, John Sr. and his wife sending a big floral arrangement and wreath. Uh, surveillance log showing that Todaro Sr. and Sinatra Sr. taking many trips to Atlantic City together, down to Florida together. Uh, they my research has presented a a wit uh, not a witness uh, a wedding guest list um, 
from John Sinatra Sr.'s wedding to Judge Sinatra's mom. Um, and it was, there was a number of organized crime figures, uh, recognized made members of the Buffalo mob in attendance back in the 70s. And Judge Sinatra's mom uh, has a bloodline that includes convicted racketeers, convicted drug traffickers, and so forth. Um, it, it's kind of head scratching that U.S. prosecutors didn't seem to know this um, and made these allegations against the defense who are facing some very serious charges right now. We know that. Um, not just the drug sex trafficking case out of the strip club, Drace Jr.'s uh, strip club um, uh, in, in Tictuaga, Pharaohs, but the murder of at very least one federal witness, Crystal Quinn, he's under indictment now along with members of the Outlaws Motorcycle Club um, for obstruction related to the death of, of Crystal Quinn last summer, just in the weeks after Judge Sinatra accused himself and Judge Villardo took over on the bench. And then a couple months ago, Bobby Kaiser, um, a witness against Joe Bon Giovanni at the first trial that ended in a uh, kind of a, a split decision, if you will, can convicted on minor charges, uh, hung jury on the major charges. Bon Giovanni is going back to trial later this month. Jerace Jr., who separate, whose trial has been separated, will see the jury this fall. And Bobby Kaiser found face down dead uh, on a Buffalo jogging path. And it's being investigated as a possible homicide, more possible obstruction charges coming, more possible homicide charges coming. It's it's real crazy. Uh, and, it, and added to this craziness was the government pointing the finger. Uh, and they were pointing a lot of fingers and a lot of those fingers were right to be pointed. But here it just seems a little misguided and it doesn't seem like it took that much research or even inquiry to find out who Judge Sinatra's family is. I mean, the U.S. I don't know how it is in um, Western New York, but the FBI office and the U.S. Attorney's office is either in the same building or they're not that far from each other. Um, and it seems like knowing who John Sinatra's dad was really wasn't a secret. Uh, but there were these dis dispersions being cast that it was some type of manipulation, uh, some type of nefarious manipulation on the part of the defense. So just giving an update on that, uh, we will keep you updated. We're going to be rolling out some new things here at the, uh, at the OG pod. Uh, some of it we'll do with more content, more exclusive content. Um, we'll be talking about it in the next couple of weeks. And part of that will include kind of, possibly daily breakdowns of what's going on in court uh, at the Bon Giovanni second trial and then at the Gerace trial later this year. But Bon Giovanni's trial starts next week. And I believe uh, opening arguments will be first week of August. And I'm hoping in one shape or another, we'll be here uh, every night breaking down what happened in court. Please like, subscribe, and share the OG pod, bringing you the most exclusive breaking news in the American underworld, uncovering the American underworld. Shout out to Benny for creating that, uh, that, uh, that's, that, that saying, because it's so true. And, uh, we love doing it for you. Keep on coming back. OG pod, Scott Bernstein out. Mm -hmm.